Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today we will be learning how to model this football or soccer ball as some people may call it uh, and render it in this way as you can see it seems nice and can be used uh, as an icon or background or anything so I'll teach you an easy way to do it so be sure to stay with me my name is Adanob and this is gfxtoday.com so some people might think that this football will start with a sphere like this and we'll just make any adjustments to it but this is not the way how we can make football so how can we do it first go to extended parameters and choose hedra and this hedra is really something amazing as you can see you can play with many of its parameters here you can make anything you can make things like jewelries you can see you can play here and do whatever you want you can select cube things like this or you can play around with this okay maybe here as you can see and the star this star really is really good you can see these things that you can do with it is really looks amazing and you can play here anyway just play around with these settings you will see some really good stuff here okay this looks good okay anyway to make football we will just select this one and make this zero and the p just something like this okay so as you can see now it started to look these things like the real soccer ball okay so now what we need to do is right click on it and choose convert to editable poly so now we have converted it to editable poly as you can see here if we select the polygon we can just move this around like this but in this case we want every one from these polygons to be just by itself okay so there is many ways to do that one of them is just to select this one and where is it? press detach and press ok and now this way we have two objects as you can see this one is just by itself and this is hard way to do it the other way is just select this and go to edge and select all the edges Okay, let's see, oops, this one is chill, I need to undo that, okay, oops, alright, this will poly, okay, and now select all of these edges, and go down here and press split, so what this mainly do is just cut all these edges and make everyone is by its own so now if you go to the polygon sub mode you will see that everyone is just by itself okay so now we have everyone alone so press g to hide grid okay so now go to modifier list and choose mesh smooth and from here just make sure this is line display is unchecked so that we can have many segments from the one polygon so let's increase this to 2 okay as you can see now we have it some more complex okay and now from this let's choose 
S and choose Spherify so this will make it look like spherical as you can see here okay but still we need to make something with these details make it look more 3d or more realistic so how can we do that now we need to make editable poly again and this time we want press right click and convert to editable poly because we want we don't want to lose all these things here so we'll just press here and choose editable edit poly as you can see here and now we want to choose the edges so just press here and they are already selected from the editable poly here so we won't have to select them again okay so now oops actually I'm gonna select polygon and select all of the polygons press ctrl A to select them all okay so now let's see go to extrude and we need to extrude this as you can see as we extrude everyone is separated every polygon here so we are extruded extruding everyone here so we just want this to be just a little bit something like this okay that you can't even that you can hardly see okay now press ok and now what we need to do is make mesh smooth again so go to mesh smooth and boom now we have this looks more like soccer ball so now we have a problem the problem is as you can see these things here you can see through them. as you can see here you can see through these edits so how can we fix this it's really pretty simple just something tricky from subdivision method just select quad output and this fixes it all for us okay pretty easy so now we have this soccer pole and we just want to put the textures so go to material editor press M on the keyboard and now we can press on it and apply any material but now we need to make this black and these are white so how to do that let's see someone can say uh, we can just select these polygons like here this one this one this one and the same here and here and just apply a black material to it and just white material for the other ones but there is a better way and easier way to do this and you can know about the header object that it has two channels as you can see here if we make a header like this and just see select mm, multi sub object okay and just make it three and apply this to our header here you can just select this this white and this one is black and as you can see it already applies white and black to it so we don't have to as you can see here everything let's just make this something like red okay as you can see here we don't need to make anything with the material so just delete this and we'll make the same with here so if you apply this material to it as you can see we have it already done so that's a good thing but we want to apply a weird 
material so oh i think that the red is better than the black what do you think okay anyway we want this to be very so let's press f10 and just go down assign renderer and v-ray and boom we have v-ray so let's adjust our uh, render settings from here or just load our preset from here oops me anyway loot and now i have it done you can find it on the website graphicstoday.com you just go here and go down see page 2 there is this topic here my favorite render settings for test renders and when you go there you'll find this image just press on it and you'll see we've got all the render settings here that i have been loading okay so back to our tutorial as you can see i have loaded here so everything is done so now i need to just put the hdri map so let's see go down okay v-ray hdri and pros select our hdri spherical okay and let's make this something around like maybe 0.7 okay we don't need it to be very much bright okay now drag this here instance and same here and here okay now close this one close here and now we need to apply our texture to this so select our football and select an empty material now what we will do is we'll make three materials first one is v-ray material okay just standard one and make it white and for the reflection maybe something like uh, let's see something like this and be sure to change this one okay and let's copy this and call it anything else see black and this white and let's go to the black one and make this black okay now we need to make another material and this one would be sub multi sub object so make sure these are just three materials and just don't care about the first one and the second one put this one here and the third one put this okay so now when we apply this material to our football here it is okay great now we need to put very plan okay and just make sure it's not inside it go to the left view and you can just uh, lift this up to this one okay maybe just down a little bit okay great now put it in the zero here zero here okay perspective again and we need to make white just standard material and white for this okay and now let's render make sure this show save frame selected and go like this okay and now press f9 and render this and see what we got so this is the final result from the football maybe you can just decrease this uh, glowness here reflection from let's see sim yes okay select any one of them and just can decrease this reflection a little bit if you want from here and also from the white one okay if you want or just leave it as it is if you like it to look shiny or just new Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Also, don't forget to 
check the website again we have some more great tutorials here the Mendat part 1 and part 2 and this 3DI and reactor basics okay we have some nice things here and I would like to thank everyone who dropped me a comment from here and now we have some advertising and as you can see here and here and we have a new whole new website design hope you like this and thank you for watching and hope you guys see you next time my name is Abanob and this is gfx today.com